Okay, this video is, is vegan blood better than meat eater blood? And anybody who's a vegan and studied it knows the answer is obvious. Of course, vegans have much better blood lab results than do meat eaters and processed food eaters and sad diet eaters. Um, first thing is the vegans will, and when I say vegans, I mean low fat vegans. They'll have much lower white blood cell counts. Um, or not always much lower, but lower blood cell counts. The normal range of white blood cell count um, from a blood draw in a meat eater, in a typical American, for example, is about 4.5 to 11. But vegans will often be lower than that. It's even been said, I have a paper, I'll show it next uh, slide here, that it's recommended to lower the normal range for a WBC count at uh, 3 to 11. And the reason it's thought for that is that meat eaters just have more systemic inflammation. Uh, they're going to have more leaky gut, most post more postprandial endotoxemia. Uh, they'll have elevated levels of CRP, C-reactive protein. Um, they'll have increased blood lipids, blood fats, you know, increased total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, which in all this fat in the blood, it predisposes them to higher rates of hypertension, which they have. They'll also have increased VLDL, increased triglycerides in the blood. They also get insulin resistance, and it leads to increased insulin-like growth factor, which contributes to more activation of mTOR, which contributes to accelerated aging and increased risk of cancer growth. It's all bad. Um, the vegans will be skinnier. They'll have a lower BMI, body mass index. Uh, meat eaters are fatter. Sad diet eaters are fatter. The, over time, as they get older, the meat and processed food eaters will have more of a tendency towards uh, gradual kidney failure. So they'll have a higher BUN, blood urea and nitrogen. They'll have less glomerular filtration rate. Um, also, you know, the high-fat diets, high-sodium diets lead to atherosclerosis, which leads to coronary artery disease at, and, you know, increased risk of myocardial infarction. The lack of fiber in meat, there's no fiber in meat at all, and processed food has very little fiber, is associated with increased risk of leaky gut, which means increased intestinal permeability, which means increased postprandial endotoxemia. Postprandial means eating after eating, so it means more bacterial toxins, endotoxins like LPS from gram-negative bacteria, LTA from gram-positive bacteria, get into the blood, and that causes systemic inflammation. Um, They'll also, by the lack of dietary fiber, be more constipated, have back pressure from that, and have abdominal pressure syndrome, as described by Burkitt. So the bottom line is, for every single thing, um, the vegans are better off. The only thing vegans tend to be low in is they tend to be low in uh, vitamin B12, and that's easily fixable. You just take a, a vitamin B12 supplement. I take methylcobalamin. I don't like cyano. I just take methylcobalamin, and that works. Um, and then this picture right here was a bit of a joke. Somebody asked me, what is the downside of eating a vegan diet? And I'd say the downside is you become a lot skinnier and you age a lot better than your spouse. So your uh, spouse is jealous of you and you might lose romantic interest in them because you're going to look so much better than them. Uh, this comes from the painting Echo and Narcissus by John uh, Waterhouse in 1903. And basically... Echo was a nymph who uh, ticked off Hera, the wife of Zeus, because she sort of uh, distracted Hera while Zeus was philandering with one of her friends. And so Hera punished her by not letting her speak other than to repeat other people. So that's Echo. And she fell in love with Narcissus. Narcissus was a very handsome young man who, for the first time he saw his reflection in a pond, he fell in love with it. And there's different versions of the story, but one of them is that he loved his reflection so much he wouldn't go away from it, and then he starved to death. But be that as it may, vegans have much better blood labs than do meat eaters, and so that's another uh, benefit of going to low-fat, low-sodium vegan with no oil routine.